Hello everyone, welcome back again to Onhow channel. My name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any request, make sure to drop them online in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment. If you are wondering why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to add video to the home page of Shopify store without music or controls and auto playing the video without the customer having to play on it. Actually, the customer will not even know if it's actually a video because it will start automatically playing and doesn't have any control or anything like that. So it will look like it's actually designed into a Shopify store. And this is not actually a banner. For example, this one is actually a banner and based on picture. I will, in my next video, I will show you how to create a banner with a video on it and have the text just like this for your Shopify store. However, this video is not actually for the banner. This video is actually just a video on the home page for your Shopify store either showcasing your product or showcasing the subject of your Shopify store or service or whatever you offer and as I said it will not have any sound on it and it would start automatically playing on the video it doesn't have any controls or anything like that and we will not use YouTube for hosting the video the video would actually be on your Shopify store and if you want to add the banner with the video on it and text overlaying like this make sure to check out my channel actually if you are watching this uh, more than a day or two days after this video was posted just check out my channel you will already find it and just watch it and I will show you how to add it without any apps or anything like that by standalone code you will add it to the teams files the liquid files and you will add the video on the banner like this and the text overlay just like you see right now in this case I don't have it because I'm trying to show you this first then I will show you how to do that and by the way if you are interested in how to add the order tracking page on your Shopify store as well as the categories and with subcategories as you can see for each category as well as adding the products actually to each category make sure to check out my channel I did make that videos as well for adding the video to the home page of your Shopify store this is what it looks like this is just at the intro as you might notice from my youtube channel and this is how it looks like as you can see it doesn't have any controls or anything like that and you cannot pause the video as you can see I'm, I'm clicking right now and I cannot pause the video it will keep looping like this and it doesn't have any sound and no controls whatsoever and you can actually customize it to make it either smaller or bigger like this chicken's the full screen so without any more talking let's just jump to it so as you can see i'm accessing the shopify dashboard right now and the first thing i'm going to do is actually upload the video that i'm going to be hosting or displaying on my shopify homepage. so to do that simply head over to content right here tab simply click on it and click on files right here and i only have these two pictures so i don't have a video and let me add the video so just click on upload files and let me go to the intro as well so I'm going to add the intro uh, which is this one right here so let's just click on open and it will take a couple of seconds in order to upload the video and here is successfully uploaded so the video here is the video was actually uploaded right now to my Shopify store and the next step is we need to add the widget to the home page then we will add the video on it and as I said this is by standalone code you will add a little bit of code to the Shopify team and you will have the option to add the video and to do so click on online store right here and after that teams and click on customize right here and by the way this is the slider i said i will show you how to create it it's already here i forgot to remove it so right now you got the idea if you want to make a slider like this with the text uh, over it like this and you can change the text and however you want make sure to check out my channel as i said if you are watching the video more than a day after it was posted you will already find the video on how to add the banner with the video on it like this so right now in order to add the video on the home page simply click on add section right here at the bottom of the page simply click on it and after that click on show more option right here and you will see custom liquid right here simply click on custom liquid and after that you will see this prompt right here it's empty where you can paste in a code so right now as you might already figure out you need to paste in a code in here right and no worry just scroll down the description box and you will see this link right here for paste bin and you will see this code right here simply copy it so let's just copy it and as i said you will find the link for this code in the description down below so let's just copy it and then just get back to the custom liquid and simply let's just paste it in here and the next step is we need to add the video url to the code in order to show it to us because as you can see it's empty it doesn't show any video yet so let's just it over to the video that we did upload to our shopify store to copy the link for it so it's simply let's just click on content again and files 
and we will see the video right here so in order to copy the link for it simply click on this icon right here to copy the link so let's just click on it again just to make sure it's working and to just give back to the team customizer so i had to reload the page the page freezes i don't know why anyway so uh, as I said, make sure you do select only the URL in between the quotation marks in here. So it starts here and it ends at the MP4 as you can see. So simply delete all these between the quotation marks and after that simply paste in the link that we did copy for the video that you did upload to the files on your Shopify store. So let's just paste it in here and let's just do the same for the because there is two URLs in here and it's already showing as you can see. So let's just do the same for the URL below it and let just paste it in here and after that let's just click on save and here it is as you can see the video is playing and it doesn't have any sound or anything like that and it's looping as you can see simply click on the dots right here and drag it up for example in here and let go it will be right here as you can see and the next step as you can see because the video takes the full screen in here if you want to make it smaller you see the width right here it says 100% for example, if we did make it like just 50% and if we click and here it is, as you can see, it becomes 50% more smaller. It takes half of the screen, actually half split it between the two sides uh, from the left and from the right. So 25% here, 25% here. And this is how it looks like. So it, this is a personal preference and how you want your video to look like on your store. If you want to look like like this here we go you can customize this for 25 percent 75 percent or however you, however you want in my case i think it looks better in the full width so let's just keep it at 100 percent like this and here we go this is way better and as you can see the video doesn't have any clickable buttons or any controls and it's looping it's keep repeating itself and as well it doesn't have any sound whatsoever the last step in here simply click on save and let's just check out our store if it does exist on our store or not and then just scroll down and here it is as you can see it takes full screen and even though if you did right click inspect it changed to the mobile mode let's just reload the page and where is it here it is as you can see it's working on the mobile as well just like you see right now and as i said the code that i did add to the team you will find the link for it in the description box and as i said again in the beginning of the video i'm working for you so if you have any questions or any video requests or you have any issues with this particular widget that you need to add to your shopify store just drop me a comment below and i will be happy to help you out and that's how you add the video on the home page of your shopify store with resizing options or playing the video and without having any controls or whatsoever and if you have any questions or any video requests make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my instagram right here below me i do reply to each comment as well as messages on my instagram if you are wondering again why is that because simply i'm working for you otherwise i think my job is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you on the next one